Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just Yellow, and today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer is gonna make a little video about uh, stuff that is related to more uh, unskilled players, okay? Um, so the higher uh, a rank in terms of, you know, just rankings alone or people playing competitively, um, the better you will be at all the smaller things of CSGO. Everything from uh, switching weapons to when you should switch to what, when, where, uh, if you're playing your spawn right, if you're playing taxic uh, tactics, etc. This is gonna be a more basic video. We are not gonna dwell into those things. We're gonna dwell into the gun timings and how it work and how it works uh, universally for a couple of gun genres. I'm not gonna dwell too far into it because uh, it's not too relevant. You should rather get yourself a feel for the game and how you should play it and play it a lot and get really detail rich in that avenue rather than knowing the timings. I'm saying this because it's a legitimate thing, you know, just knowing exactly what does what at every fucking time by number and detail. Um, in most case scenarios, that is not relevant. It's more relevant to know that the enemy have 5 HP than that he have 23.3, you know? So you could probably understand that. So anyways, let's go on with the timings and just see how it all works and break it down. So first thing first, let's actually go through the timings of when we switch to the main weapon and when we get to shoot. And I'll show you, know, you know, you know, that it will be surprisingly similar uh, over a lot of different genres of guns than what you would think. So here is the AK. I'm gonna make an audible click with my right hand. Uh, so that you can hear that I shoot. And I'll try the AWP now. The uh, level of my clickingness is obviously not gonna be that loud, but as you can see, like af only after the entire animation you'll be able to shoot. So this is very important and valuable because now you know that you need to at least know that you have some bullets left. Um, not every time will you be able to triple dink a guy because you fucking get right and you have three bullets left on your M4A4. That's never gonna happen in most case scenarios at least. Uh, unless you're incredibly lucky and you got gold hair in your ass, as they call it, or say say that kind of bullshit in Norway. But what we can take from that is that all the guns are, um, you know, after the animation, that's only when you get to shoot. Uh, so let's just try the pistols right here. I'm gonna exclude the Tech-9, cause uh, uh, we're gonna sh do some uh, actual gunfighting bullshit theor theories with that one. So here we go with the uh, pistols. Yeah, and by the way, I already know that the timing of all of the pistols are exactly the same. Alright. This will be... Yeah, okay, that's, that's all of them. But if, if the gun timing, we can actually take a bullet of it, whatever. Okay, well, there we go. So as you can see, like, yeah, the timing is just about the same. So just getting the feel, now you can start to work on the timing when you meet the enemy. When you should click to the gun and then move out, okay? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not super good at pre-aiming long right here, but if you just know the timing, at least now you can shoot the enemy instantly when you peek him, right? That's the entire point. Uh, being a little bit quicker, if you are a little bit terrible at these kind of things, that will actually be in your favor. And the reason for this is because at least then you are armed and you get to react, pre-aim and try and take up the fight than anything else. It's gonna be so much more valuable than what you would think because of those reasons. Um, so yeah, despite your movement not, may maybe your movement to the spot in which you want to do the action at. Maybe that might not be, you know, superbly uh, optimal. Regardless of that, at least you then can take the fight, okay? Uh, however, just playing the game a lot, you'll be able to get those timings down a lot better. I can just go over here and show it to you. Uh, yeah, I'm recording at max graphics, not the best feeling and experience, but whatever. So, when you get right here, you know, as you keep on playing, uh, you'll probably do this time, or get this timing down right even better, okay? Uh, I would rather be like a millisecond too early than too slow, because that way I can just shoot right after the animation. So as you can see here, uh, they, they, it has its own approach, its own usages. And yeah, by the way, if you're playing by spawn, if you got a great spawn for somewhere, uh, it's gonna be even more valuable. But uh, yeah, just play it a lot and you'll learn that. So now we're gonna go through a little bit of uh, mixing in between uh, switching to the knife and how that works compared to running away with a gunfight, maybe kiting the enemy. Yeah, that, that's a theme of it, I guess. So let's say that you are in a gunfight here and now you're wasting a lot of your bullets and you need to run away. Uh, but the enemy, he still have bullets and he's trying to chase you with his pistol because he wasted all his assault rifle ammo. What you can do right now is to instantly rely on your knife. Uh, now, this is just about knowledge, okay? Instantaneous when you switch to the knife like this, as, like even before the animation starts, as soon as you click the button, now you have the max momentum in the game, okay? Or the max speed, rather. Um, this is because of how the game is just made, and also because of how the Molotov, the bomb, and the knife uh, in the game are the quickest uh, of items in which you get to move with, which is a nice thing. Um, knowing this, um, you should not be afraid to just run away with your knife, and then after you jump, you should switch to your weapon. Because if you then are empty of bullets, 
I'll show you right here. Um, it will just automatically start reloading. So that's kind of a useful little uh, piece of information, as long as you have some cover to play with. So what we can take from this also is that not just timings, but having some cover to play with, it will allow you to do so much more. Because that way you can at least run away, reload, wait for the enemy, pre-fire him, and then maybe attack him if you choose to. It all depends on time and place, but... Hopefully people that are not super good at this game learn something from these. These details matter, but just working them into your head so you don't really need to think while using them, that is what will benefit you the very most. So, uh, thanks for watching, people. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it to be useful, uh, please, you know, I don't fucking know. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. So, yeah. Nickname is Yellow. Have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play.